it's just a spectacular backdrop for animal behavior. You know, all too often we're filming animals in natural habitat with, you know, trees and so on around. But what's really interesting is here is you get, you get a much better sense of place with the backdrop of these ancient temples. She is a struggling mum, just as many mums are in the human world, trying to raise an offspring. And as well as getting enough food for herself and staying out of trouble, she's also got to care for that youngster and try and lead him on his journey in life. Um, and I think there's probably a lot of, a lot of mums, you know, born the wrong side of the tracks, to use an expression, where she's, you know, she's not born into royalty, she's not born into money, you know, to use a human term, and yet she makes the best of her life and she gives her offspring a very good sp uh, springboard in life. When they went to the waterhole, and these monkeys clearly love the water, you know, that's hopefully revealed in the film. Um, but for me, it was particularly exciting when you saw the monkeys climbing up the trees to about 30, 40 feet, and just jumping out, you know, like going off the high board at the swimming pool, jumping out and splashing into the water, and just, just doing it for fun. Um, you know, I mean, there's no other reason why they were doing it. They're doing it for fun and showing off to their friends. And um, for me, that was very rewarding to see that. I think one thing that's really surprised me following the monkeys for this long is how adept they are in water. They love the water. And I can't think of many other um, monkeys that actually spend time or actually want to swim in the water. And one real surprise for us um, and one real surprise for us for this film was when the monkeys went underwater. Um, we've seen them splashing around before, but when we put our cameras underwater and uh, we just got some extraordinary results, we were very lucky to see monkeys swimming underwater with shoals of fish. I hope the take-home emotion that people will get when they leave the theatre having seen this film um, is that there's a certain joie de vivre, there's a joy of life uh, embrace it. I mean, I, th I can imagine youngsters leaving the theatres and going and, you know, mucking around and tumbling around on the lawn and swinging in trees. Um, I imagine a lot of youngsters wanting to go and learn to swim, which would be great if, you know, everybody should know how to swim. Um, I'm hoping that parents will tell their youngsters, you know, that's why you've got to be careful when you cross the road. Don't go and play on the railway line. And I hope there will be messages you can take home to the human life having seen Monkey Kingdom. One of the worries for wildlife in general, which we're all aware of, is uh, human pressures. So this tiny pocket of land that the monkeys live in naturally is shrinking, you know, as we get, you know, same around the world. The more people, the more places they need to live, the more they need to turn over land to agriculture or buildings or roads. And that unfortunately just puts pressure on the wildlife. And I think we just need to be aware that we should live together, we should be able to live side by side and we need to leave these open spaces um, and leave space for the wildlife that gives us so much pleasure. I think Monkey Kingdom should be protected so that future generations, you know, my children, my children's children, your children, should have the opportunity to come and spend time in a place like this. You know, not necessarily just Monkey Kingdom but other wild places around the world because of the um, the pleasure you can get from spending time observing wildlife and being in the wild. These aren't just a bunch of animals. They are each individual characters and each, you know, behaves in a slightly different way. Um, and I hope, I hope that's clear in the film, that you, you can see, you know, our lead male is a clear leader. You can see that our lead female is a mum tr struggling to bring up her offspring in a difficult place. Uh, you can see the youngsters just want to be out there and have fun, and they're you know they have no cares in the world. They you know they're just learning how to grow up. Um, so I hope that the viewers who watch this film will see that they are all these animals are individuals. They're not just a bunch of animals.